Hey everyone. So in this video I want to talk about something that I experienced a lot when I had my eating disorder, which was feelings of guilt. And I know this is um, something that a lot of people experience who have eating disorders. And for me it was, it was probably one of the overriding um, feelings that, that I experienced because I had this chatter from the eating disorder in my head all the time and telling me that what I was doing was wrong, um, that I wasn't um, following its orders correctly, that I was, um, that I should feel guilty about actually doing what I want or eating what I want, um, that kind of true part of me when that came through. And and I found it really difficult to deal with those feelings because I think feelings of guilt can feel so intense and overwhelming and our instinct is to try and get rid of them and to try and do something about them. And for me, what that looked like with the eating disorder was essentially just bending over backwards in order to obey whatever it was it was telling me to do in the hope that that would kind of make up for whatever the eating disorder had decided that I'd done wrong and therefore should feel guilty about. But that wasn't sustainable really and and actually there was always something that the eating disorder was going to make me feel guilty about because its rules um, changed all the time and became um, kind of stricter and stricter. And so the things that I could do without feeling guilty actually became fewer and fewer. So, so what I saw differently when I was recovering and now, now that I, I don't have the eating disorder anymore is that actually those those thoughts that we have that then create the, these feelings of guilt, they are just another eating disorder thought. And they are made of the exact same stuff as any other thought that we have, whether or not it's relating to the eating disorder. And, well, I mean, I know that from experience that they can be so compelling because to listen to and so and they kind of suck us in and it doesn't feel like we necessarily have a choice over whether or not we can believe or take them seriously because they they play on our insecurities or they are extremely loud and harsh and mean so we of course we feel like we have to to believe them and take them seriously because i mean if we were faced with someone in real life screaming at us the same way that the eating disorder does then yeah we're probably going to listen but actually what i've what i saw and have seen completely differently is that we don't have to we don't have to believe or act on any thought but particularly the eating disorder thoughts we have that choice even when it doesn't look like it and this extends to anything that relates to guilt because ultimately the eating disorder is and all of those thoughts are like i just said they're made of they're made of the exact same stuff as the random thoughts that we get about i don't know when we might be like daydreaming about something or we see a bird fly through the sky and we notice it <laughs> it's it's those kind of random thoughts that are they're also made of the exact same stuff as the, the eating disorder thoughts. So so yeah, we don't we don't actually have to believe them or act on them or take them seriously. And actually when they're accompanied with those those really intense feelings of, of guilt, I know that that can make it even more maybe difficult to to do that to um, ignore those thoughts or to just allow them to be but actually when we start to 
or I guess when we maybe stop giving those thoughts so much power, which we're innocently doing. This isn't something that we've um, we're kind of doing knowingly. But when we when we allow ourselves to give them less attention and give them less power, those feelings, those really intense feelings of of guilt subside because we start to see what is what is actually true what is actually true in in what the eating disorder is saying which is not a lot (laughs) from my experience and so actually like my relationship with that eating disorder voice changed completely because it went from being this hugely powerful um scary thing that I felt like I had to to obey all the time to actually something that had very little power at all once I could see what it was really made of so so that's how I changed my relationship with with guilt around the eating disorder and around that 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 eating disorder voice which I know I've talked about quite a lot before so I love you to maybe just pause and and reflect on that and just maybe start to explore what this means for you how is how are these feelings showing up for you at the moment and what might be different if you were to see it from a different perspective to actually start to gently question do I want to pay attention to this do I actually have a choice over over letting this one go and just allowing that for those those intense feelings to pass on their own without having to do anything about them to try and fix them or get rid of them because they always do pass so feel free to leave any comments in the um, comment section below and yeah I hope that's been helpful